Hello everyone. This video is all about the internship that I have did. The internship that I have got recently is data analysis internship provided by Cognifis Technologies. So the tasks that I have in this internship, there are 11 tasks that I have to perform to get the internship certificate. And this is a remote, in remote internship of duration one month. So we can do it from our homes. No need to go to office or anywhere else. So opening the tasks that I have, there are 11 tasks that I have to do. These are all the guidelines that we need to follow, that I need to follow as an intern. This is level one, task one, task two, three, four, level two, task one, two, three, and four, level three, task one, two, and three. So these are the 11 tasks that I have to do. And I have performed all these tasks uh, within the duration of a month. So these are the folders, level one, level two, and level three. To get you a brief understanding, to give you a brief understanding, I will show this in the Jupyter Notebook. In the Jupyter Notebook, uh, these folders are located in the desktop folder. Let the Jupyter Notebook open first. This is my Jupyter notebook and these folders that fo that folder is located in the desktop navigating to the desktop. This is my internship folder. So this is the task folder task PDF that I have shown you recently and the data set is also given to me which I have downloaded from the uh, offer letter mail that they have given to me. So this is the data set. So that is the data set and this is level one, task one. So while the first task is opening, task one is top cuisines. Determine the top three most top three most common cuisines in the data set. Calculate the percentage of the restaurants that serve each of the top cuisines. So this is my first task. And I have did this task running all the cells. It will plot the top three cuisines and say, what are the restaurants that, that I have been serving the top three cuisines? So this is, these are the top three cuisines and the restaurants that have been serving these top three cuisines. So this is task one, this is task two, task three, and task four. This marks the completion of level one. So the second task is city analysis. Identify the city which has the highest number of restaurants in the data set. Calculate the average rating for the restaurants in each city. Determine the city with highest average rating. So this is task number two and task number two is here. It takes a bit of time to load and to show the progress or the work that we have did because this is online. And this is task two running all the cells will show you the output. This is the output that we need to get for task number two. And this is for task number three. So this is task number three. Running all cells will give us the desired output of the percentage of restaurants in each price range in category. So this is the task number three and coming to task number four. Task number four is regarding online delivery. Determine the percentage of restaurants that offer online delivery. Compare the average ratings of restaurants with and without online delivery. So this is level one, task number four. And this is the output with online delivery and without on online delivery. So this is level one and now coming to level two. So this is level two folder and this is level two task one. So the task is 
restaurant ratings. Analyze the distribution of aggregate ratings and determine the most common rating range. Calculate the average by number of votes received by the restaurant. So this is level 2 task 1 and running all the cells will give us the output as I have written the code regarding to it. So this is the distribution of aggregate ratings. And level 2 task 2. Cuisine combination. Identify the most common combination of cuisines in the data set. Determine if certain cuisine combinations tend to have higher ratings. So this is level 2, task 2. And this is the output that we are hoping for. And this is level 2, task 3. This is a bit complex to perform as the output need to display the map. And the task is geographic analysis. Plot the location of restaurants on a map using lat longitude and latitude coordinates. Identify any pattern of or clusters of restaurants and specific areas is level 2 task 3. This is this code is running. We need to do this code with installing folium. And we also need to have pandas and SK learn as well. So this is running. This map displaying will take a bit of time than expected. Meanwhile, let's go to level 2, task 4. The task 4 is restaurant chains. Identify if there are any restaurant chains present in the data set. Analyze the ratings and popularity of different restaurant chains is what the task given is. So we need to perform the task it is up and running the top top 10 restaurant chains by number of outlets these are the restaurant chains that there are available in the given data set and these are by average rating so these are top 10 restaurant chains by total votes so these are the top 10 restaurants by total votes. That is level 2 task 4 and going back to level 2 task 3. Yes, here we can see a map. So this is what we have expected to display or to get the output for the given task. As you can see a small line here. This is a depiction of map. Yes. This is the map you can see here. This is the geographic analysis of the different restaurants that there are in the given data set. So this is for level 2 tasks. And moving on to level 3. Uh, level 3 I haven't performed well because it is a bit complex. I have written codes for each of the tasks. But level 3 I haven't got accurate output. So I am not interested to show you to all of you so level 3 is not what i have chose to perform level 3 tasks include restaurant reviews votes analysis and price range versus online delivery and table booking are the level 3 tasks i have my codes ready i have written them but the outputs are not pretty accurate as what i have expected so this is level 3 task 1 this is level 3 task 2 and this is level 3 task 3. This is the last task of all the given tasks. So task 1 is running. So this is task number 1. So the output should be in the form of a plot. This is level 3 task 1. This is level 3 task number 2 which the output is accurate and it is correct and th this is level 3 task number 3 the output is not pretty accurate. So these are the tasks that I have did in the internship given by Cognifis. So for more updates follow me on medium and let's connect on linkedin and subscribe to my channel for many such amazing projects thank you everyone take care